Question 22. Write these in order of size, starting with the smallest. Now, the first thing you notice is we've got a mixture. We've got a couple of fractions, two-thirds and three-fifths, and we've got a couple of decimals, 0.5 and 0.65. Now, the easiest thing to do is to turn all of these into percentages or decimals to make them easy to compare. Anytime you've got fractions, you want to be getting rid of those fractions and replacing them with percentages or decimals to make them easy to compare. So, first thing we're going to do is tackle this three-fifths. Well, let's think about pizza. If you've got a pizza that's split into fifths, so split your pizza into fifths, then if the whole pizza is 100% and you split that into five pieces, each piece must be 20%. 20%. 20%, 20%. Now we could write the same on the other two pieces, but we're interested in three fifths. So we're interested in three out of the five pieces. Three out of the five pieces would mean three lots of 20%, which would be 60%. So three fifths is the same as 60%. If you want to turn it into a decimal instead, that will be the same as 0.6 or 0 0.60, same thing, okay? Now let's move on to two thirds. Well, same again, do another pizza, but this time we're talking about thirds. So instead of splitting into five pieces for fifths, we're splitting into three pieces for thirds. So one, two, three pieces. Now again, the whole pizza is split into 100%, and if you split 100 into three pieces, you get you don't get 33 because 332s make 99. You actually get 33.3 recurring. And you can test that on a calculator if you need to. But it's a good one that you just need to remember. A third is 33.3 recurring percent. So to show that it's recurring, you put a little dot over the three. 33.3 recurring. Same for this piece, 33.3 recurring. And because we're only interested in two thirds, we're going to rub that one out. So that shows two thirds. Now if you put your two thirds together, 33.3 recurring plus another 33.3 recurring is going to give you 66.6 .6 recurring percent. Or as a decimal, that would be 0 0.66. And the sixes recur, they will just go on forever like this. So actually, you can just leave it, if you want to leave it as two digits, so it's the same as this one, you can leave it as 0 0.6 with a dot over the 6. It would actually be more correct and better to write it with just one 6, because all of the 6s recur, but either of those two things mean the same thing. It's just going to result in a long, long string of 6s going on forever. Okay, now 0 0.65, well, as a percentage, that's nice and easy, that's just 65%. And 0 0.5, which is the same as 0 0.50, is the same as 50%. So now we've got them all into a percentage, we'll, it's very, very easy just to write them in order. So the smallest one is going to be the one that goes with 50%, and that's 0 0.5. You shouldn't really be writing 50% in there, because although that's the smallest, we weren't actually given 50% to we were given 0 0.5. So we've got to give what the 50% goes with, which is 0.5. So that's that one done. The next smallest is 60%, which came from 3 fifths. So we should have 3 fifths in there next. Then 65%, which came from 0.65. So 0.65 goes in next. And finally, 66.6 recurring percent, the biggest one, which came from 2 thirds. And there's your answer. If you did want to do it as a decimal, then you would get the same answer because 0 0.5 is the same as 0 0.50 and 0 0.65, well that already is 0 0.65, and you'd still get the same thing. 0 0.50 would be the smallest. Okay, so that's that one done. 0 0.60 would be the next smallest, which is from 3 fifths. Then 0 0.65. And finally, two thirds, which is 0.66. So there you have, in order, from smallest to biggest. But please remember to how you how we worked out these percentages in the first place. Five pieces means each piece is 20%, and three lots of 20 is 60%. 
three pieces of the pizza means each piece is 33.3 recurring percent and two thirds, two out of the three is 66.6 .6 recurring percent. But that's how you do it. Always try and turn any fractions into percentages when you're trying to compare them.